Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Women Tech Century and at WWDC 2014, Apple announced OS X Yosemite. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top five features of the new operating system. So let's get started after the intro. So the first thing that I'm really excited about in OS 10.10 Yosemite is actually the new design. Now I've been using Mac since 2008 and the overall design hasn't really changed much in this time period. And I have to say the old design doesn't look bad to me, but still I just feel like it's time for something new. And also for example, the dark mode looks really nice and should match the Mac Pro really well. So I can't wait to have this new design in OS 10.10. Now the second point on my list is iCloud Drive and I think this has been coming for a long time because it's basically a Dropbox clone. And since I'm using Dropbox basically every day, I'm really looking forward to the integration also in OS 10.10 .10, as well as also iOS 8. And for example, also the mail drop feature that if you send an email with pictures or videos that are too big for your recipient to receive them, then they actually get uploaded automatically to iCloud and the recipient will actually get a link to these files. And I think that's a very nice feature so that you don't have to deal with messages just bouncing back because they're too big. And I'm just really looking forward to the iCloud integration and of course also mail drop. Now the third feature is a big one and that's improved spotlight search. So I'm basically using spotlight every day to launch apps and now it gets a lot more powerful with web integration. So for example, you can uh, look for results on maps or also you can search for Wikipedia articles or you can also look for an application and the latest documents that you worked on in this application. And I'm just really happy to see that Spotlight gets this major upgrade because again, I'm using it every day and it's definitely a good thing to have an even more powerful search. Now the fourth feature is actually handoff and I've also mentioned this in my video about iOS 8 and this is that for example you can start working on a document or also on an email on your iPhone then you get close to your Mac, you unlock the Mac and then you actually have a notification in your doc that you can work on the same email or continue working on the same email or document on your Mac and especially for emails that's very useful because I often start emails on my phone and then I just realize oh I have to attach something that's not on my phone. So it's a lot easier to just continue working on the same email on your Mac and then also attach the file, for example. Or if you're looking at a website, you don't have to type in the URL on your phone and you can just open the same website using the handoff feature. Also, then we get into the fifth feature, which is the biggest one for me, of course, and that's that you can now not only write SMS messages from your Mac, but also that you can place phone calls from your Mac. So this uses the connection of your iPhone, but you can, for example, just dial any number that you see on the screen and just use the built-in microphone in your Mac. And this is actually a feature that I already saw a couple of years back here in the enterprise market, where a lot of people in the procurement department actually just selected the numbers on their screen and then just called them. Now, of course, this wasn't with an iPhone. This was with an enterprise phone solution. And now we actually get the same feature for just private users at home, which is really nice to see, especially if you're, for example, looking up a restaurant phone number, then you don't have to just dial it in on your phone. You can just make a right click, call the number from your Mac, and so it's a very nice and easy solution, well integrated and it should also save a lot of time. And I'm really excited for this integration and hand off as well as the ability to place phone calls from your Mac are definitely features that make me consider going back to iOS or just the iPhone in general. And I can't wait for the iPhone 6, iOS 8 and OS 10.10 .10 Yosemite. I think they should play well together and I'm really likely to switch back because the integration is just something that you can't beat and that you can't find on any other platform. And I'm very excited. So let me know what you guys think. What are your top five features of Yosemite? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the annotation next to this video or also click next or previous to check out another video of ours. Thanks for watching. See you next time.